Bad relationship habits that you need to break. In relationships, the little things are the big things. Stephen Covey. You could be happily coupled up right now and still make room for some improvements in your relationship. When we talk about building relationships that last, we can start by taking a look at the quality of seeds we're planting daily. These seeds are called habits. We may not always be conscious of the fact that the little things eventually become the big things that define our relationships. We may be mindlessly doing things with very little thought as to how these can potentially affect our lives and relationships. Understanding how we affect our partners and our relationships with our habits gives us an idea of the work that we need to do, whether we need to improve or we've essentially cracked the code to building good, lasting relationships. Our habits may be the key to understanding where we're likely headed. Bad relationship habits are the ones that continue to happen even if they cause you or your partner distress. Because they've become deeply ingrained habits in our system, we continue to do them even if they work against our relationships or may potentially destroy it one day. Here are some familiar bad habits in relationships that partners who want to stay together need to steer clear of. Make sure you aren't habitually doing any of these things if you want your relationship to last. Number 1. Expecting your partner to read your mind, being passive-aggressive. Maintaining intimacy in the relationship requires the ability to be comfortable sharing both pleasant and unpleasant matters with your partner. Don't withhold from your partner the knowledge about negative things, instead, convey it in the right manner. Never depend on your partner's ability to read your mind as it won't add anything good to your relationship. Being passive-aggressive when dealing with difficult matters can backfire and do further harm to your relationship. Number 2. Giving your partner the silent treatment. This is closely linked to expecting your partner to read your mind. Be transparent with your partner, even with things you may not be comfortable sharing with them. They're entitled to know the truth. Just remember that if you're justifying your silence as protecting them from the truth, it's still better to be tactfully honest than be silently dishonest. Number 3. Taking your partner for granted. Regardless of how long you have been together, or how comfortable you have grown with each other, don't be complacent by taking your partner for granted, or taking the little things that make your relationship grow or improve for granted. Take some time to acknowledge your partner's presence in your life and let them know how much they mean to you constantly. Reminding the people we love constantly is a must to make them feel that they truly matter to you. Number 4. Waiting for your partner to initiate affection all the time. Many women are prone to depending on the man to initiate affection all the time. Help make your partner feel loved and important through your actions and initiating affection when you feel like it. There are no rules that say women should only wait. A good and healthy partner will always appreciate the effort. Number 5. Entering and leaving the house without acknowledging your partner. Something as simple as coming home, or leaving the house without acknowledging your partner's presence can pile up in the long run and cause your relationship undue damage. Greeting your partner upon getting home or sharing a goodbye kiss before leaving for work in the morning goes a long way to maintaining intimacy. Never underestimate the power of small gestures. Number 6. Spending too much time on your phone instead of talking and listening to your partner. Recognize the difference between finding time and making time. Our relationships with people we love shouldn't be relegated to our downtime. If you're on your phone constantly when you're facing your partner or supposed to talk with them, it gives them the feeling that you are not really mentally present or available. Giving your partner undivided attention on a regular basis no matter how busy you are will make them feel important to you. Do you have bad habits that annoy others? Everyone is guilty of rubbing people up the wrong way at times, and most of the time it is done unintentionally. Sometimes we may just be trying to help, yet we still end up annoying others. 
It happens, and if it happens frequently, because we are unaware that we are irritating, it can cause problems in our close friend and family relationships. Whether it's eating with your mouth open, or interrupting others while they are talking, there are bad habits that can ruin how we connect with other people. You need to watch for signs of crossing the line. The first step to that is recognition. When we realize that we have certain habits that are off for the people around us, we know not to repeat the same offense again. Do you have bad habits that annoy others? Here are some of the most common annoying and irritating habits that can make you hard to be around. Are you guilty of any of these? Number 1. Interrupting other people during a conversation. This happens often between family and friends. Have you ever been so excited to share something while listening to a conversation, that you have just butt right in? You have literally stolen the show and made other people stop talking or listening to someone else. Next time, wait your turn, or at least for the right moment so that you do not cut anyone off unexpectedly. Number 2. Making everything about you. If someone opens up to you about a problem, and they just need someone to listen to them, do you turn it around to you and your own problem? Sometimes in our desire to be helpful or to give what we perceive as being good advice, we talk about ourselves and our experiences, and before we know it, the whole thing has become all about us. Be a good listener and show that you really care what they have to say. Number 3. Always right. Do you find yourself constantly correcting others even on the smallest technicality? Or wanting to prove that you are right and they are wrong? At the end of the day, most things are a matter of opinion. You don't have to correct every single error you see. No one is perfect, and neither are you. There are certainly times when you may indeed be right, but you don't need to make a case to prove a point or correct what you see as an error. Number 4. Being on your smartphone. In this age of digital technology, people are more virtually connected than ever. However, real face-to-face -face interactions and conversations are still important, so make sure you pay attention when you are with live people. If you are hanging out with your family or friends, being glued to your smartphone is not a good idea. Put it down and out of the way. If you are on the phone, you may as well not be present. Therefore, be mindful, put away your phone, and focus on what's happening right here, right now. Number 6. Being Mr. or Ms. Important. Do you like sounding smart in front of other people, so intentionally use words you don't think they'll understand? Or use big words and complex jargon to sound important? It's great to be smart, but it's annoying if you try to flaunt your knowledge to everyone, or make out you know, even if you don't. Another part of being important is arriving late all the time. Sure, unexpected things can happen that prevent you from arriving at an appointed time. Once or twice is fine. If you are late continually that's just rude. It shows you don't value other people's time, and are letting them know you think you are important. Number 7. Picking your nose or spitting in public. Everyone picks their nose. We all do it at some point, but you don't need to share your nose picking in public. There are some things we keep to ourselves and that's one of them. The same with spitting. It's plain gross for many people to see either habit. It's not even hygienic and so better to avoid it in public. Number 8. Watch your manners and eating habits. If you are eating with your mouth open, or talking while there's food in your mouth, it's enough for people around you to lose their appetite, or not want to join you at the dinner table. If you eat with your mouth open, your food can fall out and nothing looks worse than half-chewed food. To observe proper table manners at home or in public dining places. Number 8. Forgetting to return borrowed items or money. It may be a small thing, but if you borrow something and forget to return it, like every time you do borrow an item or money, it becomes annoying. People notice when they don't get their gear back, no matter how small it is. Whether it's a pen or five dollars, make sure you give it back. 
it's time to break the habits. If you find yourself nodding to any of these bad habits, don't worry as you can still break them. What's important is that you become aware of them now, so you can make conscious efforts not to do them in the future. Instead, replace them with good habits that will boost your relationship with other people, particularly among your family and friends. Because our relationships are such a big part of our lives, especially the primary ones, we too often focus on the big things, insofar as what may be wrong, or what could be better. However, the quality of every relationship is mostly founded on small things. A decision to do something eventually becomes a habit, a habit grows to become a quality, and this quality ultimately becomes your everyday reality with your partner or spouse. When we analyze our relationship problems, we often overlook these small things habits, or programmed behaviors, that underlie the actions or qualities that we find incredibly attractive, or devastatingly off-putting. There are always two sides, and when our habits don't mesh, problems usually ensue. The great thing about habits is that they are malleable. They can be changed, the bad replaced by good, and the good made better. Being loved, and lovable is a habit. So are attitudes. They are made up of many small habits, and also the overcoming of many others. Don't be trapped into thinking that you cannot make changes to improve yourself and the quality of your relationships. With the right attitude, anything is possible, provided you work at it. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.